everybody so it's been a while since I filmed in front of my old little setup here which is actually just my dresser and I've really missed making regular videos for you guys and I came up with this idea which I've actually seen a few other of my favorite youtubers do it's like good and bad qualities of your zodiac sign I'm sorry I'm burning up it's freaking hot as shit in here I'm gonna cut this part out, but I have to. It's hot. What, what was the last thing that I said? So it's the good and bad qualities of your zodiac sign, and I am a Sagittarius, and I believe Sagittarius season is actually coming upon us soon. So I am gonna read to you guys good and bad qualities of a Sagittarius. Okay, this can kind of be a bad thing, but and that is that we do not like losing our freedom. We're very independent people. We like feeling like we have full on control over our lives. We fear not having control, being stuck in a lifestyle that we can't change. Like we fear that. And if we feel like somebody's trying to take our freedom away from us, we will cut them out like instantly. <laughs> Sometimes we're a little too blunt and we don't really think about whose feelings we might hurt. We just kind of like to tell it like it is, but that's also a good thing because we're very honest people. Like we will always tell you the truth and we cannot stand liars. So this is something that I will admittedly say that I relate to and this is something that I found when I was doing research for this video. And it says a common insecurity with a Sagittarius is that they can easily assume people do not like them if the attention is taken from them. They sometimes make their own mind up and convince themselves that something is wrong even if there isn't an, an issue. Yeah, that happens to me quite a bit, I'll be honest. We are very optimistic and we like to have fun. And I feel like we're very positive people when it comes down to it. Like, I always like to look at the brighter side of life. I try not to dwell on the negative side so much. We're very generous people and we love helping out our friends and family and for me personally I love giving gifts to people like I like seeing the expression on their face whenever I hand them something that they really wanted that I got for them. And also I love to make like little homemade presents for people that are important to me. I love to make little homemade presents for people that are important to me and give them to them because I would love for someone to give me a homemade present like I think that it's really cute and sweet and honestly I value that a lot more than like something that's store bought. But this can also be a bad thing too because it can lead to us getting taken advantage of because people see us as kind of naive because we're so trusting and we have big hearts when it comes to helping out other people or being kind to others. We are very passionate people and we are always evolving with new projects that keep us excited about life and we always like to follow through with those projects. I for one am somebody that cannot let a project or like a goal or something that I'm trying to accomplish go until it is complete. Like say my memory book for example, I have to like make sure that it's finished from start to end and there's got to be like something for every single day like I will not let something go unfinished. Our heart is with our family and we love them the most because we know that when worse comes to worse like they're the people that are going to be there for us and have our back no matter what. So committed relationships and the fear of being tied down kind of hold us back quite a bit but if we find someone who allows us to be ourselves freely then we will stick by that person. A committed relationship is something that can happen for us even though a lot of people say it can't happen for a Sagittarius. It can. We just don't want someone that's gonna hold us back. So I know that there are like two different types of Sagittarius people. Some like to go out and party and like drink and do all that stuff, which is fine. But there is another side that is very introverted and would rather just stay at home and watch TV or read a book or just have their alone time rather than go out and party. And I'm definitely one of those introverted types. We are also very adventurous people and we feel the most alive whenever we're traveling. 
This is definitely a negative trait to us, and that is that we can be very impatient. And if there's something that we want, we want it whenever we want it. Like, we don't want to wait around for it. Like, we want it right then and there. We often try not to judge other people's life choices, try to keep an open mind, and we like to listen to everyone's outlooks on life. I've never liked those types of people that will just sit around and criticize like other people and their life choices because I feel like everyone has the right to decide what they want to do with their life and they should just do whatever it takes that makes them happy. We have a habit of taking things for granted. We're very good organizers, but we can often act on impulse sometimes. This is probably my favorite trait about being a Sagittarius. And that is that we're very intuitive people and we can read people like a book seconds upon meeting them. We can often tell when someone is lying to us. Like we have a very strong bullshit detector <laughs> is how I'm going to put it. And honey, let me tell you, we cannot stand liars. Like if I ask you a question and I can clearly see that you're lying to me about it and I know that you're not being honest, like it drives me crazy. I cannot stand that. Like I'd rather you be blunt and tell me the honest truth and hurt me than rather lie straight to my face to try and protect my feelings. Like I'd rather you be honest about it. It drives me crazy whenever that happens. We are usually very intelligent people and we're always thinking ahead. Don't mistake our kindness for weakness though. As soon as we find out that someone is pulling one over on us or trying to anyway, we will cut them out immediately, okay? And you will regret it too. Me personally, I don't like to seek revenge. I like to just like let karma do its work. Also, when somebody does me dirty, I kind of just cut them out and act as if they never existed anymore. Like, you will be done to me. Like, I will just stop talking to you altogether. We are also very creative people. I know that this is true for me because I like to do like my journaling and like my memory books and stuff. I feel like my mind is kind of like all over the place because if you take a look inside of my bedroom and just like my tumbler for example, it's just kind of like spread it out. Like I can never have something plain. I have to have it all like dec decorated and decked out and all this crazy stuff. But it pretty much describes my personality. A Sagittarius person usually tries their best to stay out of drama. We would rather just focus on the things that are important to us and that make us happy. Like, we have no time to waste on negativity. When a Sagittarius is angry, trust me, we will let you know. <laughs> but when we're hurting, we usually tend to bottle it up and keep it to ourselves and kind of just distance ourselves from other people. And we're very good at hiding our emotions. Okay, so those are all of the bad and good qualities to a Sagittarius that I could find. I'm sure there are plenty more, and these aren't going to relate to everybody. Like, everybody's a different person, and everybody has different qualities. But yeah, let me know if you're a Sagittarius and some of the good and bad qualities that I mentioned that you maybe have or that I didn't mention. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And I will see you guys in my next video.